the squad. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry go for her joyride as passengers in mini kiddie cars. I don't know about you, but this weekend for me has been amazing, amazing and amazing. Just seeing Prince Harry and Meghan at the Invitas Games and even stepping out for the Jaguar Land Rover Challenge. I'm telling you, members of the squad, I have loved every single moment of it. Every single moment of it. Now, Prince Harry and Meghan stepped out on Saturday in the Netherlands for the Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge. And we also had some major, major PDA moments between Prince Harry and Meghan. And it's been, you know, fantastic, beautiful. And I was like, ah, so beautiful and so amazing. Whenever I saw those pictures of Harry and Meghan, it was just beautiful. Now, Meghan and Prince Harry and Inn are in for a quite for quite a ride. The couple stepped out on Saturday in the Netherlands for the Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge. The first medal event of Harry's fifth Invictus Games hosted in The Hague. While there was plenty of action on the driving course, Meghan and Harry also had a bit of fun with some future road warriors. These beautiful, beautiful, remarkable kids that actually drove Harry and Meghan. And I can just even think about this. Does uh, baby Archie and baby Dan also have their mini Land Rovers driving Harry and Meghan around? Archie, probably, because Lily is still so, so little. So, so little by now. And what I'm saying is the fact that it's been nice. It's been nice. I've had a fantastic weekend. And Prince Harry and Meghan are making my, we my weekend even better. How was your weekend, members of the squad? Mine is just perusing for the latest news involving Harry and Meghan and seeing these cute, adorable photos. Adorable. And I love them. I love these photos. Now, both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were parents to son Archie Harrison and daughter Lilibet Diana, 10 months old, squeezed into mini kiddie cars with a young driver at the wheel for a cruise and they were in for quite a ride. As they neared the finish line, Prince Harry held his hands above his head in celebration. The driving challenge is designed to test skill, precision, Navigational ability, observation, and teamwork. And Prince Harry even had a go at it himself. While his beautiful wife, Megan, observed and watched her beloved husband as he went for a ride in the Land Rover Challenge. And I just loved it. I loved it so, so much. I mean, both Harry and Megan were meant to be together. It's like the stars were aligned. As Prince Harry himself... I said, I knew it from the first moment I saw her that she is the one. She is the one. And we clearly see why that is. And looking at Prince Harry and Meghan in with this in these mini cars, kitty cars, with these beautiful children, remarkable children, it just makes me think of how Harry and Meghan are as parents. Just by looking at those photos of Harry and Megan. You can just imagine how maybe Archie has his own land cruiser and is driving Prince Harry around the house. And members of the squad, I love the Invictus game. I love every single moment of it. I love the fact that it's already begun. It's day one right now, today. And already, truly, it's living up to its expectations of being the biggest event of the year, the biggest event of the year. And we honor the military servicemen and women that have served their country valiantly, injured, sick, wounded, and every single serviceman and women and women from all across the world. Now, so Prince Harry hopped in a Land Rover and hung out the passenger side window to help the driver navigate obstacles including a tricky set of hills, Megan was nearby watching as she cheered on her dearly beloved husband, Prince Harry. 
Now, Prince Harry and Meghan attended the same event ahead of the Sydney Invitas Games in 2018, shortly after the couple announced they were expecting their first child, son Archie. They wore matching outfits at the Invitas Games shirts for the outing. On Friday, Meghan and Prince Harry made their first appearance in The Hague to attend a welcome reception for athletes, family and friends. Meghan sported an all-white ensemble featuring wide leg trousers with a matching oversized blazer while Harry opted for a suit, sands and tie. Now, they were escorted by Team Netherlands athletes and some of their family members, including a mom who used who actually carried her baby, reportedly wrapped in Megan's tan coat. And this year's games were originally scheduled for 2020, but delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And the games has begun. The games has just begun. Now, members of the squad, what can I say? I'm having a lot, a lot of fun just watching Prince Harry and Megan. This you know, beautiful public displays of, of affection. The love, when you look at how Harry looks at Megan and how Megan looks at Harry, just as he was driving in, you know, the Land Cruiser Challenge, you see the love in their eyes. Their eyes, when they hug each other, it's like time stops at that moment. And to be quite frank with you, I love this couple. And each and every single moment, I will dedicate it to supporting this beautiful, remarkable couple of Prince Harry and Meghan. And the kids that I saw today riding, actually driving Prince Harry and Meghan in that kiddie car, the Land Rover Defender. They were beautiful kids. And honestly, when they look back in time, they will see how special this moment was for them. Oh, I wish I was in that kitty car. I do wish that I was in that kitty car driving Harry and Meghan around. That would be a moment that I will never, ever forget for the rest of my life. But never say never. Never say never. I might do that one day. Something might happen and I will stumble upon next to Prince Harry and Meghan. Who knows? Who knows how fate is written in the stars? This might happen. And, you know, one day I might meet this amazing couple Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's one of my biggest dreams and I'll always support Prince Harry and Meghan each and every single time. Now, this cause was so much full of action and Meghan was actually looking at her husband as actually they were participating in that challenge. Harry was helping the driver in the challenge, in the challenge navigate it, navigate the cause and succeed in that challenge and they did a fantastic job as Megan looked on. Now members of the squad, tell me how you feel about the Invitas Games. How do you feel right now to this moment? How things are going? How things are? Tell me how you feel about it. For me, I love every single moment of it. I love, I'm enjoying the game right now already. And seeing Prince Harry and Megan, these games, the Invitas Games that Prince Harry built as a founder from the ground up, to the point that it is in right now. Prince Harry truly has the love, respect, and admiration of members who have served their country, servicemen and women. And now the Invictus Games community that so widely respects Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and Meghan, his dearly beloved wife. I love seeing them holding hands. I love seeing them hugging. It was so you know, remarkable. I know like it's normal, they are a couple, but come on, we are fans. We are fans. It's what we do. We gush over the people we do love and we do love Prince Harry and Meghan. And I'm not ashamed to say it that I do love Prince Harry and Meghan. I'm a guy and I do love them both. I respect them and I'll always support Prince Harry and Meghan. They are good people. They are good people with good, amazing hearts. And we thank them for each and every single thing that Prince Harry and Meghan have done for the veteran community. Meghan and Prince Harry go for a joyride as passengers in mini kiddie cars. And you can just imagine Archie doing the same thing, riding, driving his dad, Harry, or driving his mommy, Megan, around in Montecito, 
California. You can just imagine it just by looking at those beautiful children as they drove Harry and Megan around. Now, with that and so much more, thank you for staying tuned to our, to our video today. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and supporting our ever-growing family on YouTube. Kindly support our channel by subscribing. And whenever we hear news, we shall bring it right straight to you without immediately, immediately as soon as possible. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Sayonara and see you on our next video coming in shortly. Hello and welcome back to Sasko Family TV. As I end this podcast, I'd like to thank you so much for watching our video. It means the absolute world to us. Kindly like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. Kindly hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. We post every single day. And it will mean the absolute world to us if you support our channel by liking, subscribing and leaving a comment below. If you wish to donate to our channel, kindly send to our PayPal email briankiputo95 at gmail.com in our description box or to our Netella account. Also, briankiputo95 at gmail.com. Your support will mean the absolute world to us, with PayPal being the preferred option for this channel. Kindly stay tuned to our next video and thank you, thank you so much to every single person that has ever supported our family with so much love stay tuned to our next video and i'm hoping that you're having a great fantastic day and this podcast made you feel much much better have a great day family thank you